actually, I go to California Baptist, and I was going to a different church, Magnolia. And so I was, well, it was nice, but all I did was like sit there and like attend and listen to the service. And that was nice, but I wanted to also serve. So I was praying for um, opportunities. And then there was a professor at my school who brought me to TDC, or T TDC. And then I've been there ever since, and I love it. And yeah, there's a lot of need because it's a small church and it's just started, so it's perfect. And um, thank you, God, for his perfect timing, of course. So this is Sunday school. Um, sometimes I teach the kids, uh, but I thought of these pictures because they were taken over the summer and I was with my family. But yeah, so we have Sunday school for adults and Sunday school for um, the children. And there's also a Bible study, which is three times a month, and it's on Wednesdays. It's um, at Pastor Raven's house. And there's also family fellowship, which is once a month, and we just get together and enjoy each other's presence and love one another as God commanded us to do it. Like, cook food and all the aunties and uncles, they love them so much because they cook so many things that I can't enjoy in college all the time. So thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> Praise God. Um, there's also some revival meetings, there are many, various meetings, but this one, I didn't attend, I wasn't able to because I was in um, Kenya with my family, family, and there's other special fellowships, such as Thanksgiving and the anniversary celebration, and that was good, a lot of people attended, it was an opportunity for um, the attendees, our church members, to bring new people, so it was good to get to know people and more people join the church. And we also had a couple baptism, which sadly I missed because I was also in Kenya, but yeah, so we have, the church has grown a lot since I've been there. I've been there for about a year. And when I first got there, it was only like 20 to 30 people. Now we have like 40 to 50 people coming. And yeah, it's been very good. And to be honest, I'm a missionary kid, right? So this is what, missions is what I've been born into. Um, but I don't think I understood the real meaning of missions until I came back to America. Um, so back then, I would think like, what can I do? What can I work? What can I, you know, how can I serve the church? That was like my mindset. That's how I, that's what I thought my purpose was, to fulfill the Great Commission, to go overseas, to preach the word, to make God known, right? But, so when I came here, I was a little bit, I'm gonna be honest, I was a little bit upset because like, my heart was over there. I was like, why, why God am I here when there are so many people in need over there? Why do I have to serve? Like, why do you want me here? Like, why? But that wasn't the point of missions. The point of missions is to love one another. And I think that's something that I didn't learn until I got here because I had to learn to love the people here and not just love the people that I thought were in need because everybody is in need. If you're human, you're in need. I think that, thank you, T thank you CBC for providing these opportunities to love such as this church or such as, you know, Laos and the Paula reservation and yeah because Jesus says that the way we share the gospel is by the way we love one another so thank you for these opportunities to love and I love you guys